Welcome everyone. Today in this video, we are going to learn how to publish Spark AR filters in best possible ways. Once you have finished your filter, go to the upload section. Before going to upload section, make sure your filter meets all requirements. If you click in show details, uh, here you can see size requirement for your filters. Uh, for Facebook, uh, maximum size is 10 megabyte, and for Instagram, it is 4 megabyte. You can see the size of your filter. Uh, this is my filter size, and we are good to start. If you like to export your filter, you can simply click in export file, and you can save AR export file in your computer. After it, just click upload button here. It will guide you to a browser section. Here at first you uh, you find option either to upload to Facebook or Instagram. We will choose Instagram here. Uh, process is almost similar. You can choose where you like to upload your filter. The name section. Uh, you have to give name to your filter. We will give a name to our filter as well. Here in category section, you can choose categories to your filter. For this filter, we will choose camera styles. And color and light. You can decide which categories works for you. Next step is keyword section. This section is important as when people search filters in Instagram. This keyword will guide them to reach our filter. Here we will give some keywords to our filter. This section is for owner name, and here you can see your Instagram account linked. We have demo video option. Here we need to capture filter through Instagram app in our mobile. It is a sample video recorded in Instagram app, and you can send it to your PC and upload video app next we click in choose file option and look at our video file and upload it after uploading video we need to give icon to our filter uh, for this we need to follow some rules such as it should be a more than 200 pixels so let's create one in photoshop i have created a sample in photoshop now we'll copy it and create new we have to keep our width and height pixel more than 200 so let's keep it as 300 and 250 and our icon should not be transparent so we have to give some background color let's keep it as white now save as the image as png let's keep name Now we have to choose particular image file which we have created just now. Choose file. Uh, 
we'll crop our icon and press confirm next we have visibility setting uh, in, in this option we we can choose either a, a time and date if you are creating your filters for certain occasion best but we will choose here as soon as possible next we have review information here we give instruction for our reviewer how our effect works for example we will give one changes color of lot when user tap in screen next if your effects or account promotes brand or product you need to check this box but we don't need to check this now and finally we submit our effect now we can see our filter is in review mode uh, it may take some time such as six to seven days to get reviewed here we can see estimated review date as well uh, now if we need any things to change in our filter we can simply go to edit submission and change it and it will change estimated review date as well now when you click home option you can see status of your effects uh, when when the effect will be accepted then you will see option like visible and now our effect is not visible as it is not accepted you will be either notified in notification of your facebook account whether it is accepted or not or you make sure here your effect is visible a few moments later now in this section of video we will learn how to tackle if error appears while uploading effects we will be focusing on general issues error appear as the effect icon contains text with the effect name for this case we need to upload effect icon without text for example we have two icons here for this issue right icon is best option for us so let's replace it in our icon moving on to ne next issue these two issues are similar to each other the effect contains text that's not integrated into the scene of the effect and the demo video contains static text for this kind of issue go to spark ar studio in your effect select canvas i have used two text here and change change mode of canvas to old space then drag your canvas into face dragger now it will turn static text into dynamic text if the error shows as the demo video isn't playable in the chrome browser try recording it on a different device from the instagram app first make sure video is taken from your instagram app and bring it into your pc especially the file will be in mp4 format so you need to convert it into mov format you can use any online method to convert it to mov file for example choose file and just press convert now video will be in mov format just replace it with mov format video and finally if issue is the effect contains photograph or photorealistic image of a person it means you cannot use image of a person as a texture 
so so in this case for example spark ar will not allow me to use image of a person as i have used here so for solving this issue I'll go to photoshop and select the face portion of of the person then go to filter select blur and choose gaussian blur from there now it will make the face unrecognizable and you can use it as texture now press ok uh, then go to file save as png format let's give name new then go to spark air and simply replace it with new these are the solution for the issues if you have any other issues then this please comment i will try to cover it in next video Thank you.